What's going on? You're watching Bass TV, and I got another Fortnite video for you. Patch 4.2 is finally here, baby. Boy, are we gonna have fun with that perk recombo view later. Oh my god. But unfortunately, if you've updated your game just like I have, you will see this screen right here. They say, hey, bye, bye, bye. chill out. No perk recombo ability for you right now, brother man. Fine. Then while we wait, let's go over these patch 4.2 notes. First thing we've got for Save the World is obviously the perk Recombo Ablator, which I talked about in length in a previous video. If you click at the top of the video, you can see all about the Recombo Ablator. The only thing I did not talk about in that previous video was the ability to upgrade weapon and trap schematic rarity. Don't know why, I totally missed that. But yes, in addition to you being able to recombobulate, you can now upgrade weapon and trap schematic rarity, just like you do with heroes. And you can only do this with new items or legacy items that have been converted by the recombobulator. Mission rewards and mini boss alerts are now gonna reward re-perk and perk up to use in your recombobulator. But as a result of that, crafting materials, XP, and evolution materials, unfortunately, are gonna appear less often. That's a bummer. There is now gonna be elemental storm mission alerts, which means that all the elemental husks in that zone will be locked to that zone's element. So if it says, oh, fire, all of them are fire. If it says water, all of them are water. If it says nature, all of them are nature. Depending on which element is in which zone, you are going to get the perk currencies for your recombobulator, fire up, am up, and frost up. They also added a couple of repeatable quests where you can earn the perk currency re-perk. One big update that's going to affect the gameplay, I think drastically, they kind of switched crit chance to critical rating. That's what you're gonna see on all your perks now. So basically in the new system, it adds up all of your critical rating and then the critical rating is then converted into critical chance. And then that critical chance is added to your weapons base critical chance value. That critical rating is only for newly acquired schematics or legacy schematics that you have converted with your recombo ablator. The quad launcher is going to be available tonight at 8 p.m. And they said, hey, batata, we were throwing everybody off with that Storm Shell 1 nonsense. We just threw a picture up there and made y'all think that was the quad launcher. They said, this is what the quad launcher really look like. And I like it. That's dope. I like it. I'm sorry. I had to throw a hiao in there because, I mean, it holds four incendiary rockets that leave balls of fire. And guess what? They also added several new perks. So if you've been there talking about, eh, I hate these perks. I don't like these perks. These perks are getting old. Well, they've got some new stuff for you. And again, these can't appear on legacy schematics, only on new stuff and stuff converted by the Recombobulator. You knew it was coming. There are three new perks for traps. Building heal heals the attached building by X percent of its max health every 10 seconds. Effect duration increases the duration of any effects applied by the trap. This also replaces plus X stun duration on new schematics. Increased building health increases the max health of the attached building by X percent. Now we have some new melee perks. Attack speed increases attack speed of melee attacks by X percent. Damage resistance grants X damage resistance while this weapon is equipped. Life leech heals player for X of the damage dealt. And movement speed increases movement speed by X while weapon is equipped. Now these last two are for all weapons, if I'm not mistaken. They've got damage versus miss monsters and bosses. Increases damage by X percent against miss monsters and bosses. I think that one's pretty cool because they already have some guns that are great for missed monsters and or bosses. So a perk to bolster that even more is great to me. And we've got a new elemental type, physical. I mean, physical is not elemental, as it says, deals non-elemental damage, but has significantly higher base damage. Ooh, no elemental, but it has a whole bunch of damage. I mean, I could rock with that. That's like an old school, like damage, 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 damage. They even added unique perks for the Founders Revolt and the Founders Blazing Masamune, which again, is only available after you convert it with the perk Recombobulator. For the Founders Revolt, you're gonna get this perk. Bullets ricochet to one nearby target, dealing 100% of the damage dealt to the original target. Basically, shoot one target, hit two targets. Thank you. And for the Founders Blazing Masamune, every sixth successful attack triggers an explosion 
dealing damage in a small radius. <laughs> but the Masamune no longer deals energy damage, only fire damage. That's gonna make those two founder weapons pretty pretty beastly in my opinion. Headshot damage perks are now multiplicative instead of additive which is kind of beautiful because if you have a headshot perk that thing is going to do damage when you shoot somebody in the dome piece as opposed to the body <laughs> bye bye they also unfortunately changed the mechanics of weapon affliction afflictions can no longer stack per weapon type like melee versus ranged for instance if you have two different types of weapons that deal elemental damage and also deal affliction an enemy can only have one of those afflictions at a time can't have two can't be burning and dripping at the same time. You know what I mean? That's not possible. But anyways, as I was recording this video, the servers went back up, baby. So mine's has to go recombobulate. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. If you're new, subscribe. This has been a Batata TV, and I am out.